So my name's Chris Yates. Uh, I have a C6 spinal cord injury from a car crash in 2006. I work closely with SIA and the volunteers um, at the National Spinal Injury Centre at Stoke Mandeville. Um, and it was there that uh, Peter, the fabulous volunteer at Stoke, um, let me know about the emergency care plan. As a tetraplegic, I enjoyed barbecuing in the summer, whenever we get a summer. And I did that without incident for a number of years. Uh, once it was, I think it was two years ago now, I was gonna do a barbecue for the wife. Uh, before that, we had quite a lot of paper shredding to do, documents that needed shredding. I thought, you know what, I'll be clever. Two birds with one stone, we'll put the paper on the barbecue. So I had my ripping aid, my active hand on, and a barbecue instrument to start stoking it. And lo and behold, there was quite soon 12 inch high flames, um, which I wasn't used to on a barbecue, normally just heat, but not flames, and not realizing what was going on. And my wife then looked at my hand, um, and it wasn't quite as it should be, and the skin was melted. Um, with my level of injury at C6, I don't have full sensation on my hand. Okay, we need some extra support here. Called 111. Um, they sensibly advised me to go to A&E. They, they pulled it apart, debrided it, and it, I knew then, well they knew, they told me then that it was gonna be a bit more involved than just dressing it and, and bandaging it. So this is when I was like, okay, um, I remember the emergency care plan that, that Peter was, was telling patients about, and now it's gonna be useful for me should have done it before any any incident occurred, but being a typical bloke, um, not doing things in the right order, it, it happened quite retrospectively. So there was a very um, quick email sent to the, the nursing team at SIA. We went through the emergency care plan. So there was lots of um, what medications I take, what my uh, equipment that I might need if I was in a hospital environment, the um, input or support that I might need with, with turning or such. So I was able to email that uh, ECP document to the, the, the matron that was going to be looking after me um, and everything was in place. So it was a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders knowing that they knew about um, my spinal cord injury requirements. So five days at hospitals, I would have needed to have managed my bowels which the hospital said that they have no experience or knowledge of doing. Um, but with that emergency care plan, I think they quickly realized that there was options for to get support. And yeah, fast forward a few years, it's, it's healed, it's working well. Some air conditioning and, and pushing a wheelchair has, has, has indirectly split the skin, but it's nothing related to, to that initial injury. Having to go into a general hospital environment is filled with anxiety make sure you contact the SIA to set up your emergency care plan.